certainly um, coaching at the Olympics is a, is a big highlight. In anyone's career, I think it was uh, um, a pretty uh, pretty nice thing to do. Uh, takes a long time to get there, but uh, it's very enjoyable when you do. Well, in, in Athens, um, it was a, a, a trip that uh, those players had, had not been on before. We had a very young team, um, and uh, and they qualified in the top eight, which for New Zealand is like winning a gold medal. So, yeah. uh, so that was a really, really good Olympics. Um, and uh, a young player from Australia, Angela Marina, who was a New Zealand citizen, played on that team. She was 18 years old and was in the top 10 in scoring. So it was a, it was a really good time for New Zealand basketball. I, I get my delight from seeing players progress to higher, higher levels. So uh, for me, coaching is about, the ultimate for coaching, coaching is to see players that you've worked with represent Australia or, or go to the NBL or WNBL. Or, or just achieve, uh, you know, the, their potential, and um, you know. Uh, but some of the teams that I've coached over the years, one of the uh, delights of coaching was coaching under 12 girls team a couple of years ago in the VJBL. So, so it, you know, Olympics or you know Friday nights, it's uh, it's what you get out of it uh, that provides that enjoyment. I worked for Basketball Australia from uh, 2010 till 2014, or the end of 2014, and then last year spent a year with Basketball Victoria um, doing some coaching development uh, work for them. Um, and uh, currently, you know, now working at Nandong Basketball, which I'm delighted about. Really, I just want to establish uh, a, a strong coaching community here. I think if you look at any successful program around the world in any sport, the strength of those programs is coaching. And uh, to build a strong coaching community here with a good culture and uh, that will, and, you know, and a succession plan so that we know where our coaches are going and, and, and then providing assistance, assistance to those guys to achieve what they want to achieve out of coaching. Well, I, th I think Dan Nong's an association that should uh, be among the top associations in the state every year. And to do that you need to build underpinning programs, so you've got good players coming through all the time. Uh, you have a WNBL team that you know requires success at that level and, and a Siebel men's team. So transitioning players through junior ranges and into those teams would be a priority, but also helping coaches reach those sort of levels as well. Excellent. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for your time. No problems.